involves um, 100 kilowatts of ground mount solar and a 404 kilowatt hour SunGrow battery. But the spacing here is quite large. I'd say what's quite nearly, nearly five, five and a half meters or so from the back of the panel to the front. Yeah, I think it was actually specced at six meters yeah, for this right. job. Okay, yeah. Well, the reason being was um, we wanted to allow for machinery to run in between. So for, for weed sprayers, broom sprayers on the back of tractors to run through and have plenty of clearance between the panels. So there's no risk of, or well, minimal risk of them damaging both sides of the uh, the panels and the structure. Yeah, right. And yeah, as you also mentioned, um, shading as well. So we've probably mitigated shading by twice what we need to. The racking system is an IXL made racking system. IXL being one of the, uh, the oldest companies in Australia. It's uh, made specifically for what panel you choose to use. Um, so you've got to mention to them what panel you're using. You've got to send them the data sheet with all the dimensions right. and they will manufacture the racking to the panel that you're going to use. You don't have to lift each panel into place. You can just slide it up the racking and then you get behind it with a small sort of soft headed hammer. You tap your four clips in for each panel and off you go. But the beautiful thing is you can work under the panels yep. as opposed to on top of them yep. when you're fixing them. Yep. And that, I mean, even like, especially on this site where it's incredibly hot and also you don't have to get up as high. That's right, yeah, it eliminates the, um, the risk of uh, needing to work off a ladder or working off um, a scissor lift behind it to install that top panel, which has made it just a lot easier. So of a 100 kilowatt job here, we had four guys on the field. Yep. Um, and I, I reckon we, we panelled the whole job in a little bit under four hours. Documentation to the stakeholders here at, our, at this site is everything. Um, every, every part of what we've done has had to have been documented and provided to them. As, as I said to Valley earlier, we can't just read minds and, and know what each other's doing. So we have to put everything into a formal document that says exactly what we're going to be doing in an easy to understand way. Um, we've had to uh, continually create and modify GAN charts based on what's happening at what time, when we plan on it happening. If, if there's a delay, uh, we modify that GAN chart and let, it, let our stake know, holders know straight away just so they can also organise themselves. Um, we've got a swims for just about every task that we've, we've performed on site so they can see exactly how we're going to be doing it, the risks that we've come up with. Um, sometimes they, they even ask for a little bit more clarity. The battery storage on this site has been designed um, to, I guess, kick in when the sun is not on or if the load is, in, is very, very high at the pump station, which is being predicted to happen in the next few years. It'll be a combined 200 kilowatt output between the PV and the, and the batteries. Um, so the design would be for, obviously, the solar to uh, provide as much power as it possibly can to the pump station first, and then the batteries to kick in and provide whatever the solar is not doing and also for the batteries to I guess operate at night and um, use its storage to operate the, the pump station at night to minimise the draw from the grid.